Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. NASA's Curiosity rover celebrated the three-year anniversary of its landing on Mars recently. Since landing, Curiosity has driven nearly seven miles to its current location at Mount Sharp and found evidence of past conditions suitable for microbial life. To mark the anniversary, NASA is unveiling two new online tools that will bring the Mars experience to a new generation of explorers. Mars Trek is a free web-based application that uses more than 40 years of Mars exploration data to provide high-quality imagery of the planet's features. Experience Curiosity is a 3D simulation program that also uses real data to take viewers along with Curiosity during the rover's expeditions on the Martian surface. Since NASA's robotic explorers became the first to study the Red Planet, advances in technology have enabled Mars exploration missions to continue making important scientific discoveries and pave the way for humans to reach Mars in the 2030s. During an August 6th visit to Marshall Space Flight Center, NASA Deputy Administrator David Newman visited the agency's Composites Technology Center to see the massive robot that will help NASA build the biggest lightweight composite parts ever made for space vehicles. The head on the robot's 21-foot arm uses up to 16 spools of hair-thin carbon fibers to create the precisely shaped parts. Lightweight composites could increase the weight an exploration spacecraft like NASA's new Space Launch System rocket can carry, while also decreasing the total cost of building the vehicle. NASA astronauts Mark Vandehei and Jack Fisher are among those named to the Expedition 5152 crews to the station in 2017 that will continue important research to advance NASA's journey to Mars and make discoveries that can benefit all of humanity. When Van de Heij and his crewmates arrive at the ISS in March 2017, veteran NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson will be part of the crew already on board. Fisher will follow as part of the Soyuz crew scheduled to arrive in May 2017. The next round of NASA's CubeSat launch initiative is underway, giving students, educators, and others in the growing community of space enthusiasts an opportunity to help the agency achieve its space exploration goals. The initiative provides hands-on experience in designing, building, and operating the small research satellites. The program also provides access to space for the hardware as secondary payloads on NASA space flights. Not to upstage the man in the moon, but this shot of the International Space Station zipping by the moon is pretty cool. NASA photographer Bill Ingalls captured the station's lunar transit on August 2nd in the skies over northern Virginia. For information on how to spot the station in your backyard, go to http colon forward slash forward slash spotthestation.nasa.gov. And on August 5th, NASA released another shot of the moon, but this was from a million miles away from Earth. A NASA camera aboard the Deep Space Climate Observatory or Discover satellite captured this unique view of the moon as it moved in front of the sunlit side of Earth in July. The series of test images in this animation shows the fully illuminated dark side of the moon that is never visible from Earth. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.